welcome to Logan Sounds Off, where I talk about books, music, and a whole lot more. I'm your host, Logan Kelly. Hey guys, welcome back to Logan Sounds Off. Today I'm doing an album review on Song Machine Season 1, Strange Times by Gorillaz. Yes, a bit of a title there. Uh, this was released 2020 uh, by Parlophone Records and Gorillaz. Uh, so, people will know Gorillaz for 2D. Uh, you, you can't see me what I'm doing in verse commas. Uh, because 2D is Damon Albarn. They've all got nicknames. You've got Russell Hobbs, you got Noodle, we got Murdoch. We got 2D. 2D's a bit odd in the cartoons. Murdoch's a bit of a... Always, like, doesn't have a top on. Always is like a... Like a... Crucifix uh, necklace on his neck. He's always swinging a rope or something. He's always doing something. Noodle is illustrated, but she isn't mentioned, mentioned too much. Russell, then, isn't mentioned too much either. Um, now this is not just Gorillaz on this album. Literally every song has somebody on it, which is kind of normal for Gorillaz because they always seem to have collaborations. Like on Plastic Beach, they had Bobby Womack and stuff on that. But we've got some really good people on this. Like, you will know a very good amount of this, of these people. A lot of them are friends of 2D, and that helps a lot as well. So, the first song, title track, is called Strange Times. This is very weird. I watched the music video, and it's all to space and stuff. And that's featuring Robert Smith from The Cure, and he is the moon, I think, in the video. And that wasn't my favourite song. But then, immediately, Beck comes back with The Valley of the Pagans with Girls, and that's amazing. I really like that song. This is one of my favourite albums now. It's very biased because I've known Gorillaz for a long time. I have their debut album on CD and I have the singles collection on CD. Yeah, I'm such a collector. But I really like their music. And Beck were very good. Sorry, he was very good, not they. Because uh, there are some bands on this. Um, he's very good on that then you've also got the last chord featuring Lee John the legend himself on this that was also a very good song now I was quite surprised with this and not surprised at the same time uh, Schoolboy Q a rapper Gorillaz yet do use rappers uh, especially in the singles collection actually there are a couple of rappers there or there's the one rapper I forget his name but he's through a lot of the songs on that because they're he they were he was kind of like the rapper for a lot of them songs, but I didn't really I like the music video for Pac Man. So obviously because it was rap, there was a couple of bad words in it. But I loved the music video for this. It was all about just two D uh, the character non Damon Albarn, just literally on the Pac Man thing that he just ordered. Like a full on thing for the Kong studio, which is where they record, and he's just there mindlessly playing games for like four minutes. And Noodles trying to get him out of it, just going, I would you cop on? And that's very good. Then Chalk Tablet Towers featuring St. Vincent. St. Vincent Beck making a connection. So they did a collaboration as well. So you can see the links in this. Chalk Tablet Towers is amazing. Actually, I don't know if any problems with any of the songs on this, apart from like Strange Times and Friday 13th, because they're just, they're okay. They're not good. And I expect good from Gorillaz. So it's kind of like, ah, oh, you're slipping out, come on now, when you're listening to those kind of songs. But that was an amazing song. Now, they got a whopper on this album. The Pink Phantom. It's called, and I think this is very ironic, because Elton John is in it, and he is wearing pink sparkly diamonds and everything, while he is piano playing in the video, and that's a very good video as well. And also Six Slack, 
Now I'm saying six lakh. He probably pronounces it black. But re replace the B with the six. You know how artists are these days. But it can't just be simple. Uh, though I stiff little fingers isn't that s simple to be honest. But anyways, that was an amazing song. Elton done a very good solo in this. And he was very strong with his vocals, and I liked that. And then you moved on to Aries featuring Peter Hook. Again, Damon Albarn, Peter Hook, Connection, and Georgia. I don't know who Georgia is now. I don't know that much about Georgia. I remember checking their artist profile on Spotify, and they looked pretty good, though. So Aries was a single that originally came out, and in it... Uh, it was like there was this really strong electric guitar. Obviously, the treble was up a lot. And then I think it was Russell. I don't know, but he goes into the mic. Aries. And then the synth kicks in. And a bass drum kicks in as well. And that's really cool. Now, Friday the 13th. I think I listened to this once and I just went, no. Just doesn't cut it for me. So... That's kind of like something that I would like them to improve on. I don't want those kind of songs. No. Dead Butterflies featuring Kano and Roxana. Sorry, Rox Roxani uh, Arias. That's amazing. I really like this. Very mellow. Quite melancholy. Just but nice and smooth. Just kept on going. And I like that. And I was quite happy with that. And it was kind of like a pause for the album just to go, here, have some nice chilled out music, you know? And I really liked that. Then it moved on to uh, Fa Fatimata Diawara. I think that's how you pronounce it. I swear I'll kick myself if that's not how I pronounced it. But every single time I've heard someone say it, they've either, either recited it, because you can hear on their voice they've recited it, or they're trying to pronounce it. Very cool name, though. With Desoli, obviously this is in a foreign language. Uh, Damon Albarn actually put in the effort uh, to learn the lyrics in a foreign language, so well done. And she is singing in a foreign language and there is a weird brass bit in this that kind of put me off for a bit, but I, it grew on me. Now everybody else is probably going, oh my God, I hate that part. How did it grow on you? Well, that's what I'm saying, I love gorillas and I find their music very good I think for like two years I had a phase where I just scanned gorillas Spotify artists every day just for half an hour looking at them uh, and then momentary bliss that was the first single released for this album featuring slow high and slaves um, and this was very good I liked momentary bliss uh, momentary bliss we can do much better than this I think was the lyrics so I saw um, that really off key so do not put down oh my god how did you sing that because that is not what it sounds like uh, but yeah and now machine bites some of you might not know what this is this isn't part of the album it is just on Spotify so Machine Bites is where I will go like just clips of like things like sometimes it would have on like a phone call of just Murdoch and 2D talking. Sometimes a bit of comedy, you know. It was very cool though to kind of have that just put in just for a little effect. Something else you can get a box out of this with the actual song Machine. And you can also get all of them on single. And you get the album and it's in a nice little box. But it costs only 200 quid. You can also get the G collection of loads of Gorillaz albums. And that's like over 100 quid or something crazy. But people still buy it because, you know, they're people. <laughs> but this overall was a brilliant album. Uh, the back, though, was a bit weird. I didn't really like the back cover. Uh, it was a bit weird. It... It was like real life mixed with cartoon. Didn't really make sense, but you know, I kind it kind of grew on you when you're just going, ah, yeah, that's that song. It's very hard to read the songs though because they're on sideways. But apart from that, the imagery on this is great. There's also a song machine theme song, which goes 
do 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 it's kind of like <laughs> that was terrible but it sounds like a rain synth mixed with loads of weird other synths risers drums cymbals everything and then it goes just goes boom at the end uh, no it really does go like that <laughs> um but overall this is a five star album uh, i was really happy with this album overall and i really like the songs on it and i recommend you go out there and buy it now there are some new singles coming out by gorillas now uh, this is 2022 and this is October so if this is outdated Gorillaz might have released a new album by then but Gorillaz have a new album coming out I think soon so you better look out for it Gorillaz fans because their singles coming out and they've got a really cool pink cover so I bet you the next song machine is the exact same as the last one except it's got different tracks different back cover and the front cover is the same except from blue it's red you guys will get it I'll see ya. I hope you enjoyed listening to this episode of Logan Sounds Off. You can follow me on X, Facebook and Instagram at Logan Sounds Off. And don't forget to subscribe and not miss any more cool episodes. Bye guys.